dead now. That's why I like you, boss. Always staying positive. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. It wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page, and when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. I always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orlay when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Canari try to fix you. And you're a spy? Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me, trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashoth. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. You'd heard what the re-educators did to their prisoners. Yes, I had. I wanted them to fix me like they fixed them. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlay, ostensibly as a Talvashoth work undercover. That's how I ended up here. It sounds like you had a rough life under the kiln. What, three meals a day and free sex whenever I need it? <laughs> I came out here for the challenge, boss. Figured I'd rough it with you savages. Anyway, nice talking with you. What can I do for you? I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? What I've heard about them sounds fascinating. What you've heard was mostly horse shit. All right, what do you want to know? What's it like growing up under the Kune? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers, or Chantry sisters. They also helped figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Ben Hasra. You never knew your parents? No. I know for you folks, that's a big deal. The Tamasrans were like our parents, though. Taught us to read, Helped us go to sleep, all the parent stuff. I remember the one who helped me build things with blocks. She laughed when I knocked everything down. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orlais or Ferelden? 
Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages... Vivienne's too political. Dorian's too arrogant, and Solus is just... weird. They'd all end up dead. Or worse. They'd kill Cole, cause, you know, demon. And Varric would mouth off one too many times, get re-educated by force. So, to answer your question, no, I don't think about it much at all. How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kunari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice. And the military keeps the Kunari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Orlay, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Kanari, the Ben Hasrath set you straight. Or kill you. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. Their Tamasrans will pop your cork whenever you need it. Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day. Leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. See you next week. That sounds... different. Yep. Still, it's more fun here. Fewer rituals, more making it up as you go along. Plus, you folk have redheads. <laughs> redheads. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Well, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Val Royo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolan does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the Cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that Baker in Val Royo has? Life isn't about freedom. The Baker in Parvolin wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Val Royo. People are just people. The word Kunari, is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kuhn are the Vidathari. The Kanari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvasha, deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kuhn? The people we came from. They're called the Kasith, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thedas because the Kasith were. I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Hey, boss. So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlay, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. 
Nice talking with you, boss. What's going on? What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. It's a pleasure. Hey, Graham. Do I know you from somewhere? So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. I knew some of the soldiers felt like that, but to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. Your worship, I suppose. <laughs> 